Okay, so this pushback in the argument about prisoners wanting to work uh, and corporations, multinational corporations say that it benefits prisoners by allowing them to gather skills. It also benefits them by allowing them to save a few thousand dollars uh, to pay for child support or uh, to have money when they return into the community. But one of the things that they don't talk about a lot is that if you don't work, you don't get good time credits and you end up doing longer time in the prison situation. Uh, <clears throat> and so most prisoners will work because they don't want to spend extra months in the prison system because they don't have a record of being good prisoners because they didn't work. So my father's family is from Texas, right? Where there is no such thing as, you know, we can, like in Arizona, if you work this much, you know, firefighting or whatever, we can shave off this much time or you don't have to work unless you want to, it's mandatory, right? And my mother's family is from Mississippi, you know, and, and came out of sharecropping. So what you described to me almost sounded like sharecropping. Like it's, it's, it feels like a Ponzi, like you invest and maybe one day you'll be free, but you know, they can always drag you back in for parole violation, for infractions. And so, and it's hard to find a job or housing when you get out. So it, it's locked in 